Hey everybody, today we're going to be creating a drawing of a robot. We're going to use shapes like squares, rectangles, triangles to create our robot. We're going to also color our robot in with markers, but then we're going to use some water and a paintbrush to turn our markers into paint. Now, if you don't have markers or a paintbrush at home, that's okay. Just use crayons to color your robot in. So the supplies you'll need is a white piece of paper, markers or crayons if you're going to use those, water cup, and a paintbrush. Gather your supplies and be ready to get started. Okay, I've gathered my supplies. I've got a white piece of paper, I've got some markers, and I have a water cup and a brush. So, I'm going to start by drawing my robot using markers. So we're going to use different kinds of shapes. So we'll use things like rectangles, squares, triangles, circles um, to create our robot. Again, you can use whatever colors you would like. Um, you don't have to use the same colors I am. If you don't have markers available, you can use crayons and just skip the step with the water. Um, but I'm going to use markers and it's important that you use washable markers, so not permanent markers like a Sharpie. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the head of my robot and you can pick whatever color you want. Your robot can be whatever shape you want, whatever shapes you want, or you can follow along with me and do yours the same way I'm doing mine. So I'm going to start with the head of my robot. I'm going to make his head a, um, a rectangle and then I'm going to make a rectangle shaped eyes and color them in. And then I'm going to make a rectangle shaped mouth. Now you can do whatever shapes your robot's face can look what, however you would like it. Um, I'm going to change colors now. And I'm going to make my robot have different colored lines inside. And then I'm going to um, add some details. So I'm going to make like little um, lines in a circle on each side out. Now you notice I'm not coloring everything in. That's because we're going to be using water um, to help fill in some of these white areas on our robot here in a little bit. All right, here's his neck. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the body next. So I've chosen another color. I'm gonna make my um, robot have a big triangle shape body. Like that, and then I'm gonna add some um, details on my robot. Okay, now I'm going to put some details inside of these with a different color. And you can use whatever kind of details um, that you would like on yours. That's totally fine. Okay, so now I'm ready to add some arms to my robot. So I'm going to switch colors again and I'm going to draw a couple of lines like this so a couple of curved lines from a robot's um, arm and then I'm just going to draw kind of an oval shape for his um, hand and I'm going to put some stripes you could do whatever kind of design you want or you can follow along with me okay so I'm going to do the same thing over on this side and it's okay if the two arms are not exactly the same size that's okay this one's a little bit bigger no big deal okay so I finished my robot's arm so now I'm going to switch to a different color and I'm going to give this robot like one kind of leg in the middle or um, or I could do two legs it's it's kind of up to you I'm going to do like that and then I'm going to draw his kind of feet like that and I think I'm going to give him like, like he's on wheels. So I'm going to draw color in some circles. Okay, so it kind of looks like my robot is on wheels like this. So I'm going to just add some, um, some, I think, wavy lines inside of here. For some decoration. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little bit of decoration in my background. So I'm going to switch to a different color. I'm going to pick a different color. 
and I'm going to draw some kind of star shapes and then I'm going to put little dots at the end of each of these. And I'm going to put maybe just spread these out all over the background of my robot. And I can make them different sizes too. Now you might decide to put different, um, something different in your background and that's totally fine. That's up to you. Okay. Now, if you don't have markers and maybe you were using crayons, you could color in some of these spaces that I've left white with your crayons. Um, but since I'm using washable markers, I'm going to show you a way that you can kind of turn your markers into paint now. So I just have some water and a brush. Okay, so I've got my water. Now, when you do this, you don't want to have your water, your brush be like dripping with water and real, real wet. If you do, it's going to make the color spread too much. So I'm going to make sure after I put my um, brush in the water, I'm going to carefully wipe the extra water off. So my brush is wet, but it's not dripping with water. Okay, if it's dripping with water, that water that's going to be too much. So what I'm going to do is gently and lightly, I'm going to touch my brush on the color and I'm going to carefully spread the color out and fill in those white places, some of the white places on my robot. Now you'll notice I'm going carefully and slowly. When I feel like my brush is getting too dry, I get more water, but remember I wipe off the extra so it doesn't spread too, too much. Okay. Now I have filled in my robot's head. You'll notice I didn't just go all over and go crazy. I stayed inside of an area, just like I'm painting it. So I'm cleaning my brush off, wiping off the extra, and now I'm gonna do it inside of the mouth here. Then I'll, I'm gonna do these little bits on the side here and his neck. Okay, and again, if you use too much water, it's all gonna to blend together. Your colors from like the head and the neck, the neck will mix together and we don't want that. So I'm gonna keep going on my robot. So remember, I wipe off the extra water. You don't wanna have your brush really, really drippy and wet or else the color will um, start to move around on the paper and it will blend too much. You'll find some markers work better than others. You might notice this purple marker is not really making much color. Some markers are like that and that's okay. Yeah, I have finished with my robot. I'm going to go and I'm going to add a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush. All these little things in the background, I'm just going to make it like have a little circle kind of in the middle like this. Okay. Now, I have finished my robot. I used different shapes to draw my robot and then I drew different patterns using my washable markers. Then I took a brush and water and um, spread the paint, the marker around to make it work like paint on my robot. I hope you had a lot of fun creating this robot and I can't wait to see everybody's creations. Bye.